Welcome back. Today we're doing something completely different. A gun sight designer. Let's get started. So what I've been working on for the past couple of weeks, because I'm terrible at math and terrible at scripting, and Lua is a gun sight designer. So we have circles, we have lines, we have dashes, we have triangles, we have rectangles, and did I miss anything? I don't know. But what we have is a cool little component that you can design gun sights with. I'm going to show you, I'm going to walk you through some of the features, and of course you're going to have to experiment because there are a lot of features, but I'm going to show you a few different versions or a few different things that it has that you can use on your gun sights. So first off, we're just going to turn it on and turn it off, and you can see that that is awesome. <laughs> no. So first of all, I was going to show you the transparency setting but i did not hook this up right yet because i was really quickly trying to get this ready for you and so i didn't do that i also don't think i hooked up this button no gosh what did i do i didn't do anything all right so let's take a look at a few of the inputs that we have on this component you can see it right here it's kind of hard to see it's gray but it has a large button for toggling the color scheme you have one of two color schemes that you can pick um, and of course you can change the colors to anything you want inside the component itself, but out here you can switch between you know, red or green or whatever colors you set. And then we have a transparency throttle, so you can actually set the transparency to light or dark, which you saw it did not work, and I'm going to show you why. And then of course we have a composite connection. I don't have an actual composite uh, instrument panel here, but let's find one really quick. Let's keep the gray look going on here. And I'm going to just throw this right here. And then we're going to hook this up. And what channel is in? It's channel 2. All right. All right, so channel 2 is my color scheme changer. So we're going to go in here, change this to channel 2, and color, and change this to a button and a toggle. All right, so that's hooked up. So now let's get onto the component really quick and take a look at it. And it is a mess here. Now, this is the top. We have, I think we have five different rings. Let me see, yes, five rings. We have top lines. We have bottom lines, right lines, left lines. We have, what else do we have? Uh, dashes, vertical, dashes, horizontal. We have custom lines um, from one to nine and another set of custom lines from one to nine, and another set of custom lines from one to nine, and another set of lines from one to nine. And then we have, coming up after we get past these custom lines, if I can get past them, we have, what do we have? We have some diagonal lines. Wait, this is in the wrong spot, I think. Might have to move those. These are not supposed to be here. So then we have diagonal lines, and then we have our triangles. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back up here to the ones that are on. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this setting right here, ring control transparency. So we can set our transparency using this slider, which is set to slider setting, or we can set this to player input. And then we can set it to a mini toggle button or a large toggle button. Oh, we'll go ahead and set it to the mini. And then what else can we do? Hmm, we should probably go down and set all of these. Oops, not size by width, sorry. Slider setting to player input. Is there anything else on? I think there is a triangle on here somewhere. Slider setting, okay, triangle, player input. All right, so let's go ahead and try it now and see if my transparency slider works. So we'll come over here and we'll go ahead and slide it. On. There we go. And slide it back down. And there you go. So you can see you can set this inside your cockpit. So in case the gun sight is too much in your way, you can kind of narrow it down a little bit. Or maybe you could hook it up to something else where it dynamically changes based on, I don't know, something that's in front of you. Then of course we have the button here. And we can not turn it on because we didn't hook up the power. So of course we didn't hook up the power. So let's do that really quick. There we go. And now let's come back here, and we're going to go ahead and click this and change our color scheme. And then we can turn on this. And there we go. Very cool. Okay, and this is just another example of just a kind of a, a thing I did really quick, just using some circles and the lines. 
So let's go ahead and look at a few of the different features, just kind of kind of secluded so we can see what they look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this first one on. And you're gonna see that I've used a circle and turned it into a solid. So on most of the features, you can turn on solid or just lines. So this circle's on fill, and I've changed the transparency really low so that we can go ahead and see through it. And then we have the lines on the left, right, and top, which are actually rectangles that can be wider and they can be filled or non-filled. And then in the center, the little crosshair is a custom line, both vertical and horizontal, that you can change the size and the offset. All right, very cool. So what else do we have? Well, let's click this button and find out. <gasps> All right, so this is a cool feature that I kind of implemented late. These dashes right here can be horizontal and vertical, but you can also disperse them so you can have them wider so that there's less of them and you can have their width so that they're not as wide they can be very wide they can be very skinny and that'll make it look totally different so you can design crazy crosshairs all right next thing we're going to take a look at is <gasps> ah custom lines okay so i use some circles in the center this is kind of a mess it looks like star wars or something but these custom lines here both have vertical versions and horizontal versions these are the horizontal nine on the top and the horizontal nine on the bottom. So there's two sets of horizontal custom lines and you can change their position and how wide they are. And that goes, you know, horizontal and vertical. So very cool. Next up we have, ta -da! So the triangles are the last thing I implemented. So they're a little bit hard to use, but they do work. So the way I decided to do it, because these were the last thing I was doing and I was trying to get this done. So <laughs> what I did, is I decided to go ahead and put the X, Y for every point at the center of the screen. So the default is zero X, zero Y for each point. So in order to place your triangles on different positions, what you do is say this point right here next to the crosshair is a zero Y and an X minus four. So it's going four back. So what you do is you're just doing offsets in order to put your positions. So this point up here is probably something like a minus 16 for the Y and a minus 32 for the X. So that puts it up there. This of course would be a, was a positive, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what the lines are, a positive 16 and a minus 32 x i think we'll take a look at it but the way you have to position these very difficult to remember is to put your x y minus the center if that makes any sense we'll take a look at it later all right so the last one and this was a pain in the butt but thankfully i had some help from random user mayo we have diagonals from the corner in and these, like the circles, are all percentages. So these lines go in about 75%, and you can change that, and of course the colors. And then of course we have a circle, and a custom line down, and a custom line to the right. All right, so that kind of shows you the features. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this thing, and we are going to bring out our test bed. And right now you see it has a diagonal set up on here. And here is a component right here. So let's just check the component really quick. All right, looks like we are missing the small instrument panel. So let's go ahead and hook this up really quick, just so we can show off our features. Okay, we're gonna set channel two, color, and we're gonna go ahead and just Set these to none, because we don't have any dials. No, 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 no. Where's this one? None. Okay. Looking good. And then we're going to have to set our composite. Where is our composite? To the component. And let's just check to make sure everything is hooked up here. That's a backlight. Color scheme toggle. What's this one? Oh. Okay, we can put that in there too. And what else? Power and video. Okay, so everything looks good. So what we have here is all the monitors that you can use right now currently in the game. And you can design for the little one and it will try to expand based on a percentage to all the other screens. 
I like to show you, at least in this tutorial, on this screen because it's kind of large and you can kind of see, whereas when you're dealing with this one, you're dealing with very small pixels and you're gonna have to be, I guess, you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful with what you put on the screen. With this side screen, you can put quite a bit of pixels and you can use the circles and the fills and all that stuff. So we're probably just gonna design for this one and just let these other screens do whatever they want. All right, so let's get into the component and check it out from the top to the bottom and just check out what the features are and what we can do. And maybe I'll tell you a few things about <laughs> what the features do if I can remember. All right, so let's start from the top and work our way down and see what kind of crosshair we can come up with using the features that I've implemented. And maybe we'll find a few bugs and we'll have to fix them as well. But let's start at the top and work our way down. All right, so first off we have on most of the components, if not all of the components, hopefully, we have an on and off. And that allows you just to toggle on the parts or features that you wanna use for your design. So ring one is on, now ring one is off and it won't show up. So we're gonna turn this one back on and now we have the ring one size, which is a percent. So if we want it to cover 15% from the center outwards, you're gonna set it to 15. And then your next ring, if you go down, you could do it a little bit larger. But let's just concentrate on these before I get myself sidetracked and show you what the features are. So resize one for larger screen. So what you can do, depending on your screen, let's get out of here. So these screens are wider. So what you can do is that toggle changes how it resizes based on the width or the height. For the most part, you'll want it to size to the height, especially if you're designing for these screens. But if you're designing for the larger screen and you want it to stretch more because of the wide uh, monitor, you can go ahead and change that setting. But for the most part, I'm gonna just design for this one. So height is fine, width is fine as well because this is a square, so it's not gonna change much. But if you're designing for the larger screen, you may want to change this to size by width. But we're gonna go ahead and leave that size by height. And what it will do is size this one by height. So you're gonna get the triangles or the circles right to the center of this. If that makes any sense, you can play with it and figure it out later. All right, circle only or circle fill. So each feature has the fill ability. If it's a rectangle or a circle or a triangle, I think is also, you can fill it in and make it a solid. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it circle only and then we can set our ring transparency. Now, on each one of these, you can also set your ring transparency to the slider setting or to the player input. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to the slider setting, and that's gonna use this setting, whatever we set it to, which is kind of cool, I think, that you have that option. And then we have, of course, our colors. All right, so we have our colors. So we have white, and we have whatever this color is, I don't know what I set it to, but we're gonna set it to gold, okay? So if we toggle this, it will go to the white. We toggle it back on with the button, it's gonna to go to the gold. And we're just gonna do gold because, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of golden. All right, next up, we have ring color scheme input, and we can set it to large toggle button or the mini. I'm gonna set it to mini because why not? Next one is offset. So you can offset the circle from the center to the left or to the right. So if you go this way, you're going to the right, you go this way, to the left. And that's just gonna offset it on the screen to the left or the right, and then the Y, of course, is gonna go up or down. So we're just gonna leave these in the center. We want our circle in the center. And now we go to the next one. So ring two is off. We're gonna turn it on, and oh, I don't know. Let's see, what do we got? We have ring one to 15. We could do, let's do 25%. Uh, kind of hard to get there. All right, 25%, size by height, circle only. Transparency is 100. What's the transparency on this one? 100, 100 is a good one. Okay, and let's go ahead and golden that up. Slider setting, mini if we wanna change the toggle. And offset is zero, zero. Okay, ring number three. Let's do 35%. Circle only, that's fine. Transparency 100, slider setting. And let's golden that up again. Mini, no offset. Oh, okay, ring four. We're just gonna go through these really quick now and set them just a little bit more. So what did I do? I already forgot. I did 35, so we'll do 
45. 45. Okay, circle only. Transparency is fine. Gold again. Offsets off. And let's do ring number five. Okay, so ring number five. Let's play around with this just a little bit. Let's go ahead and set it to say, I don't know, let's set it to 15. And let's offset this ring five. Set it to gold. Let's offset it by, mm, it's already offset, but we're gonna set it to, I don't know, let's see where this goes. 15 and 15. What we're building is a crazy looking gun sight, just using all these crazy components. All right, so I think everything is off. Let's spawn this and see what it looks like. All right, so you can see on the big screen, we have our circles and this is circle number five and it's offset. Here we have nothing on. Oh, well, we didn't hook the video to them. Let's do that really quick. What a terrible test bit I just did, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and turn those on. So now we can come back over here and look. All right, so that's offset. You can see how it tries to keep it the same, but my math is bad, so it does not size appropriately. And you can see what I said about the smaller one is when you're dealing with the smaller pixels, that percentage is gonna have to be a lot different because it's dealing with a very tight set of parameters inside there. You can do it, but like I said, you have to do it a little bit at a time and kind of put percentages higher to make it fit. All right, so we're working with this one. And what we want to do is we're going to just move this up a little bit more. All right, so we're going to do it to... So that's kind of what I wanted. I want an offset circle to my main crosshair. Okay, very cool. So let's go ahead and go farther down the line if I can click that thing. All right, what is next up on our list? So there are the rings. All right, our next thing is the top line. Okay, so these are very cool. So if I turn on the top line, it is a rectangle and the top line can be a percentage that it comes downward. And it also has offsets, but for the most part, these are your crosshairs that come in from your left, right, top, and bottom from the outside of your uh, gun sight. So I'm gonna turn that one on. I'm not sure what the default settings are, but once we're done with this crosshair, this is going to be our default settings that I will upload, and then you can go ahead and play with these settings yourself. All right, so let's turn on the bottom line. Let's turn on the right line, and let's turn on the left line. Did I miss any? Top, bottom, left, right? All right, let's try it. See what the default settings are right now. All right, cool. They are already set to very close. Okay, that bottom one needs to come up. So we, let's go check the settings. Top line thickness is set to a two, and then we have top line size set to 40. These actually should be swapped. But what you have to do is in order to put these in order, you have to copy and paste every single one of these again to make them get <laughs> into the order that they were created. Kind of a pain in the butt. So I might leave this for a while, but you can always fix it later. So we got 40 on the percentage. If we go to the bottom line, it is set to 25. We're gonna set it to 40. And we're gonna set our thickness to two. Uh, very cool. Okay, so this looks like it has it non-filled and it's not offset by, well, we can offset both of these, it looks like. It's 40, size by height, which is fine. Rectangle only, let's fill it in. And then let's, well, let's just see what that looks like before we offset it. Yeah. Actually, let's, I don't know, let's leave it right now, we'll check. Not positive how this thing is rendering out. Okay, oh, okay, it's fine. It was just once we filled in, it centered itself. Okay, cool. All right, we're moving along here. Building our crosshair little by little here. All right, so what is our next thing? I don't know. I don't know, it's like a, it's like a surprise box. I never know what is next on this giant list of things. So there are top lines. There's a bottom line. 
And right line, of course, left line. Okay, now we have vertical dashes. This is dashes that are dynamically rendered down and across. So we can set these off. We can actually set these in different ways. So let's see what we want to do. Well, you know what? Let's first set this to gold. And vertical size. We're gonna make these smaller. Let's make them like two. Oops, two. Now the four is probably the minimum in order for it to show up on the small screen, but a two we can probably get away with going up and down our next HUD size, whatever that is, large HUD size or the medium HUD size. So we'll do that. Let's come down here and we can distribute the things at about 10. All right, let's check out what that looks like. Okay, so not really liking how it's doing that. Across there, that looks kind of cool. Not crazy about this monitor. Okay, what can we do? Let's go ahead, oops, wrong thing. Let's go ahead and go back there to the dashes. Let's do it smaller. Vertical distribution. Let's make it a little bit wider again. And then let's turn our alpha down to about 10. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, there we go. So that's starting to look cool. Looks cool on the big screen too. All right, so let's go back in there and do our vertical. Nope, sorry. Let's do our horizontal dashes. All right, there it is. Let's turn it on and let's check it again. All right. There we go. Now we got our dashes going to left and right, up and down, and then you can see it on the bigger screen. You can see my sizing is so wrong, so frustrating. Maybe we'll fix that sometime. All right, so next up, let's see what we have. All right, so after the dashes, of course we have offset settings we're not going to use, but after the dashes, we have custom lines. Now there are, I think, nine custom lines you can use. So what they're good for, and what I'd like to use them for, is setting giant marker lines. So let's turn on the first one. Vertical line number one is set at zero, zero, and it's a percent of four. So we're gonna go down to the horizontal number one. Where is horizontal number one? Horizontal number one. We're gonna turn that one on, and it's at zero, zero. And we're just gonna leave whatever color it is so we can see it. I think it's blue. So we're gonna come over here. And now you'll see we have our little crosshair right there. That's our custom line. It's showing up on all of these. Of course, the little one is crazy looking like a little flower, but we're just concerned with this one. All right, cool. So now what can we do? Well, we have at least 16 other lines we can use for both vertical and horizontal. So we have 16 vertical for 16 horizontal. Um, and what we can do is go ahead and come down here and maybe just turn some of these on and see what they are set to. So this is set to a minus three. Let's go ahead and set the, turn these on. I'm so excited, I don't know what these are gonna do. I can't remember, when I was developing these, I was playing a lot with testing them, but I don't remember what they're set to. Okay, so this is vertical lines from two to nine. We turn them on and they're kind of distributed a little bit, okay, at what? minus 15 so they should be going wider as they go up or something like that I don't know let's, let's check I don't remember okay so they are stuck right there so they're just going up a little bit at a time all right so what we can do with these lines is we can put them a little bit more spread out right, let's come down here to our C lines one is gonna be our cross, we like that. All right, let's do it. Uh, offset Y, let's do minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, minus 60, 
70 and 80 uh, and we're at 25 percent let's go to 20 15 20 10, 5, not too sure what this is going to look like, 5, uh, I'll do 4, 3, <laughs> I don't know what this is going to do, oh it only goes to 4, minus, okay, okay, let's see what this looks like, okay, Interesting. Okay, so th <laughs> there are some issues here. So what I did is I went ahead and set our custom lines to vertical. You know what? I don't really like how this looks. Because we have the dashes in here, I feel like we don't need these custom lines. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm going to turn off the custom lines. I'm not crazy about the custom lines. Okay, let's go back and see where it is now. Okay, so I like... I like this. I like the dashes. I think it looks good. What I don't like is that circle that we offset is kind of by itself. So what we can probably do is use a custom line. Let's turn this one off. And don't remember, like, what is that circle set to? So let's check out ring, I think it's ring five, right? So let's find ring five, and it's set to minus 20, minus 20. All right. Now, if I did my math correctly. <laughs> I don't know if I did. But if I did, we should be able to set that line, that custom line, vertical line, to minus 20, and it will throw it right in the center of that one. Okay, so let's offset minus 20 by minus 20. Okay, it is there. Okay, so what we want now is we want it a little bit larger. So what is that number five circle? It is 15%. So we will go to 25%. So 5% on each side, I think. So we should have a gold cross in the center, go across on the right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. And now let's go and see what other features we have. So if we scroll down, custom lines, lots of custom lines. Okay, triangle. So if we turn on our triangles, oops, not the debug, not the fill on. Let's turn on this triangle here. Triangle on, triangle on, and triangle on. So we've got the Star Wars vibe going on. So, hmm. Yeah, okay, that's good. All right, so I'm going to leave that as it is because I want people to be able to download this and see the triangles on the default settings, but I don't really like the triangles for this crosshair. So we're going to turn those off. Again, look, I'm so indecisive on this. Okay, off and off. Okay, cool. So you, got, you, get, an idea how, so you get an idea how the triangles work. It's an offset position, so that's fine. That's fine. All right, last thing we have is our diagonals. And let's go ahead and see what they look like. Okay, let's turn these on. Put those to gold. They're already gold. And let's check them out. All right. Those look good. I like those a lot. I like the angles. They look good. Okay. So that's it for today. Hopefully you find this gun sight creator helpful. I try to make it as simple to use as possible. There are a lot of sliders and a lot of numbers, but just do on and off and test to see what they do. I know a lot of people can't do Lua, so that's why I created this. It was a pretty large project because I'm not good at scripting. It was a little more difficult for me to create than most people, but it seems to work decently well and hopefully you find it useful. So go ahead and let me know in the comments below if you like this, if it's useful, if you hate it and it's not useful you can leave the comments below as well but at the very least go ahead and dig into this component and take parts out and make your own uh gun site creator that's maybe more simple because some of these things you didn't really need but maybe the code is useful for just making uh you know 
diagonal lines or circles or dashes. And uh, again, thanks to Random Mayo for helping me with the uh, diagonal lines because I could not solve that problem and he got that working. So thank you very much, Random. And I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye!